to ensure your dual pivot road brakes work at their best, three adjustments need to be made. Brake pad position. For maximum braking power, the entire surface of the brake pad should make contact with the rim. If it's positioned too high, the pad might rub against the tyre, slowing down the wheel and causing premature tyre wear. If it's positioned too low, not all the pad surface will touch the braking area, leading to uneven wear and potentially causing the pad to get stuck at the lower part of the rim. Caliper position. Proper caliper positioning means that the rim is evenly spaced between both brake pads. This ensures that when you apply the brakes, both pads make contact with the rim simultaneously. However, sometimes the spring tension in a caliper can change, leading to uneven spacing between the pads and the rim. As a result, one of the pads might start rubbing against the rim, slowing down the wheel's rotation. Fortunately, the dual pivot brake has a balance screw that can be used to centre the caliper. Turning the screw clockwise will move the pad on the balance screw side further away from the rim. Turning the screw anti-clockwise will move the pad on the balance screw side closer to the rim. Cable tension. Proper cable tension ensures that when you press the brake lever, the cable has enough tension to push the brake pads against the rim and stop the wheel. If the brake cable tension is too low, the brake lever will pull all the way to the handlebar, but the brake pads won't press hard enough against the rim, causing the brakes to not function properly. To adjust the cable tension, use the barrel adjuster located on the caliper. To bring the pads closer to the rim, turn the adjuster anti-clockwise. To move the pads further away from the rim, turn the adjuster clockwise. Tools needed for the job. Phillips screwdriver, a set of allen keys, or a 10mm wrench. Before starting, make sure the wheel is properly secured and has no play. If you need help with repositioning and tightening the wheel, check out my instructional video here. Ensure the wheel is not out of true. If necessary, I have a great video here, showing you how to true a wheel. Links to these videos can also be found in the description below. Before adjusting the brakes, first loosen the cable at the pinch bolt. Turn the barrel adjuster clockwise until it's fully screwed in. Check the brake pads for wear. If they are unevenly worn or have passed their wear line, replace them. Next, inspect the brake cable for corrosion or fraying and replace it if necessary. If you're unsure how to replace the brake cable, check out my video tutorial here. Finally, make sure that the caliper arms move smoothly. If they don't, you might need to consider servicing the caliper. I have a great video here if you need help with this task. Stand facing the front of the brake. Grab the brake pads from underneath and squeeze them against the rim. While keeping the pads pressed, check if the brake quick release lever is fully in the closed position. If it's not, push it down to close it. Next, pull the brake cable to eliminate any slack and tighten the pinch bolt. Now you can release the caliper. The pads should move slightly away from the rim. If they don't spring back and are still touching the rim, you'll need to slightly loosen the cable. Now, while squeezing and holding the brake lever, check if the brake pads are positioned correctly. If not, keep the lever pressed and use the appropriate allen key or wrench to loosen the nut or bolt on the pad. While holding the brake pad, gently release the lever so that you can move the pad and adjust it so that the entire surface of the pad touches the rim. About one millimeter of the rim should be visible above the pad. Press the lever again and lightly tighten the pad until you feel resistance. Then place your index finger on the front lower part of the pad and use a thumb to tighten the nut. Do it slowly ensuring the pad remains in the correct position. Check the pad on the other side and repeat the process if necessary. Check if the distance between the pads on both sides of the caliper and the rim is equal. If the pad on the side of the pinch bolt is further from the rim, turn the balance screw clockwise until the pads are evenly aligned.
If the pad on the side of the fixing bolt is closer to the rim, turn the adjustment screw anti-clockwise until the pads are evenly aligned. If the balance is too far out and adjusting with the balance screw does not help, loosen the nut at the back of the caliper. Adjust the caliper so that the distance between the pads and the rim is even on both sides. And then retighten the nut. If you've installed a new cable, it's time to cut it. Leave about 4 cm from the pinch bolt. Attach the cable end and use pliers to compress it with the crimping side or the nose. And that's it! Now you can easily adjust the brakes on your road bike. Thanks for watching! I'm curious if this video was helpful for you and how your dual pivot brake adjustment went. I'm very grateful for your support in growing this channel. Thank you for all the subscriptions, likes, comments and for sharing my videos with your friends. Best wishes and see you in the next video!